Ooh. Okay. So the year is 2009. There's this website that exists where people are putting videos online. You know, I happen to be one of those guys just enjoying the content. And then I find people that I start watching regularly. And we're talking like 2009 to like maybe 2011. So this is like a whole two years of me just watching YouTube on a regular. Somewhere between 2011 and 2012, the iPhone 4S came out. Now with this new love of content creation, which I didn't really think about as a you know as a thing like with this new thing of mine and technically my love for technology the arrival of the iphone 4s basically seemed like my moment in time to like merge the two and as far as things can be said i basically begged my parents to buy me a new iphone this and i'm talking this is like during the age of bbm you know everybody was going oh invite me on bx what what and i was just there like i need the phone with the best camera because this is clearly the only thing i can shoot with because obviously it's not like everybody had money for cameras like we do nowadays and cameras weren't as accessible as they are nowadays i got the iphone 4s thank god lasted me a couple of years actually from there i was actually shooting videos on a regular basis and i mean like i was actually shooting videos just for the fun of it just to record life you know documenting life which is very important it was during that time when i enjoyed making content the most in 2013 i basically decided oh yeah i really want to put my stuff on this website so i created my channel in 2013 it's basically 10 years later and right now it feels like almost a failure because I basically picked up a camera to become a YouTuber, yet after 10 years, it's like the one thing that I've eluded myself from doing all this time. Which is crazy to think about, because when you look at my portfolio, people see names like the MTNs, they see the EWN, they see the music videos, they see the weddings, they see the product shoots, you know, some of the BTS of the stuff that I've been working on, then they're like, yo, bro, you're gone, bro. Am I really? I don't, I don't feel like I'm gone. But the point here is, I basically stopped making YouTube videos, basically sold on the idea of you could be a director of this. I got sold into the titles of things and i feel like that's when my change of or let me say the my love for videos basically started changing it stopped becoming a thing where i like make videos because i know it's a good or fun thing to like do it just felt ugh, at that point i have not been serious about my actual goals it's more or less chasing what is expected if anything does not change now then the what are we doing when are we doing it when are we going to take ourselves seriously and as you can see by the title of this video is why i kind of want to venture into something else so i can get my love back for the making of videos now some of you guys might be looking at the title of this video and thinking to yourselves okay why software engineering surely i i literally watched all these days in the live software videos and i literally love the lifestyle but i realized that it's also going to play an important part to have distinctive work like another thing you call work compared to what you actually want to be doing on your spare time like if i take away the idea of work for videos for myself then i'll probably enjoy making videos more therefore ending up in me making more youtube videos so obviously just to be frank with you guys like salary does play an important role in this because if you do have a solid salary for let's say two three four years and you're still building something on the side there's a higher chance of you becoming well off later in life you know what i mean i see it as a chance to basically start building wealth and the only way you can build wealth was obviously inheritance number one or two you could have a high paying income skill which i already happen to have one of them which is one video editing and i technically do know how to code it's just that i'm trying to build it up as if i don't know anything because it's very important to go through life learning and i feel like that's one of the other reasons why i feel like i'm pursuing this in the right time so obviously it's one thing for me to say hey i'm gonna be learning this thing but i actually want to show you what i'm going to be learning just for the sake that 
in case anybody else feels like they want to go through this uh well we can learn together i guess <laughs> but yeah um also though the other reason of me making this video is basically to say i'm going to be moving in a direction where i'm starting to like document things instead of actually trying to make a video on a topic so if it just happens to be or feel like a vlog most of the time then that's just me documenting my life you know not every day is going to be exciting and i realize that from a lot of my favorite youtubers but at the same time it's like i don't want to be forcing stuff for nothing just to say i made a video so right now everything is just about documenting the process don't lick my face my boy so when it comes to programming if you want to become a web developer if you want to do back end you know if you want to learn data data science if you want to do machine learning all that stuff you have to do your own research but the one thing i kept coming across online was that you have to have projects to show like you've been working on something you know just to have like that thing of i've tried to solve a problem on my own and this is how far i've got if you're somebody like me who doesn't really know what they want to solve in a sense i just decided to take up uh this course by dr angela Yu. It's called 100 Days of Code, the Complete Python Pro. That's the course I decided on. And in those 100 days, like every single uh, learning day has its own project. By the time I finish this, I should have built 100 different things. And the beautiful thing about this course is that they all vary. So one day you'll be just making like a, let's say a name generator. And then next day you're making a game. Next thing you're actually working on a website and like all of this is obviously based off of just python but at the same time it's like you're building so much off of this that you should have a foundational base around like everything as a scope I don't, i'm still not sure about how far they're going to dive into certain uh, subjects and topics like that but i've already done you can see like one percent of this i did the first day and it for well for me because i already know how to program it's just one of those things like i knew like things like variables and all that but at the end of it i actually like felt like i had learned something in python you know what i mean plus now i have something to show for it like like i'm saying with the i think it was a name generator band name generator it's a simple project but it's at least something you can show that oh i built something even though it's like you know in the beginning phases there's like other degree not degrees um other certifications i have that i don't know if they're still valid so i just the thought like ah uh, let me just get a comp tier one because i i did study it in varsity and yeah i just wanted to get something that's currently being looked at as like the certification for you know it people and i was just like ah uh, let me just do this again and then you know get get more like a more relevant one then there's this one this one i'll probably reveal when i'm done with this because this is actually like my lifelong i want to say project that i'm going to be working on so in any case after i did my first day of the 100 days of code i actually thought to myself like wait cape town just got amazon all right and because obviously amazon being one of the biggest tech companies in the world if not the biggest tech company in the world so i also decided to sign up for um the aws educate program as you can see like i've done my introduction to cloud 101 and the introduction to aws management console but yeah point is i signed up for amazon as well because i was like this is one of those qualifications or certificates that could actually get me a job also the nice thing about um some of these is that if you come here to badge you'll see that as soon as you complete any of these courses they give you a badge to be like you know a recognition badge and i already have one um right here that i already put on my linkedin this is what it looks like you know that explains everything and then there's a verify sir thingy here where companies can click to verify that yes indeed you are the holder of this certification and i did promise you guys some sort of financial um <laughs> content on this channel if you are an fnb user and you want to sign up for this course you can actually get it via your fnb app there's a tab you'll see where it says partners or partners or something like that and then you can click on udemy this course you can get it if you're lucky you can get it for free because apparently you fnb gives you six udemy courses every year so if it's your first time claiming a course on udemy you might just be lucky enough like me to get it for free otherwise the most you're gonna pay for it is literally 50 bucks and 
to show you how actually how much this course cost it costs 1.4 imagine 1.4k you would be saving yourself 1350 rand just by getting this course via fnb and if you're lucky you get it for free but at the end of the day guys like i was saying like this is just me trying to just document my life i'm not promising you like the best content on this i'm not trying to promise you like oh i'm going to show you the best type of coding in the world this is just me telling you that i'm going to be trying to show you how I'm going about my life from now on. It's just a documentation of, if something kicks my ass during the day, then it kicks my ass. As much as I wanna make a career out of the YouTube thing, I just feel like looking for views is what's killing most creatives. So I just feel like, let's just document, and if somebody feels like, ah, oh, we love what, what you're doing with yourself, and this is, that's beautiful enough for me, you know? I feel like that's where you actually get your core fan base. When you look at my record of like things that I used to shoot back then, it, it was literally like me and my friends in high school, us doing like a dance thing. But it was literally just that. It was mostly me documenting my life for the sake of just having that on record. And I feel like once you start looking back at things like that, like if I look back today and like the first time I decided to do a this is not a vlog i don't look at the video thinking like oh this is such a cool video and whatever. i remember what's happened during the day from that day and for me that that footage is enough for me to be like i remember that day you know and i wanted to start doing that with what i'm doing now i actually rambled so much that the camera died that's why the angle has changed anyway it's been your boy check you in the next video <laughs>